my god i am so excited however the weather not so excited i mean i'm sorry gorgeous don't get me wrong but i told i was told it was gonna not gonna snow like the weather did not inform me it was gonna snow so i'm a little bit fuming now, i would give you a room tour but it's an absolute shambles at the minute i've literally just woke up to snow and started getting ready um yesterday it was an absolute not a nightmare that's a bit dramatic but i came on eurostar from liverpool so i literally got the train from liverpool to london which took like two and a half hours the usual and then it's supposed to only take an hour from london to paris um but it didn't it went over because the weather was bad in paris so they had to slow the train speed down like it didn't stop anything entirely you just went slower on the train which by the way went like nearly 300 miles an hour which i thought was absolutely crazy and um, but eurostar in general was so easy like it works out coming from liverpool by the time we've got to like manchester airport and got here we've actually got more time in paris and it's took less time which is madness um it was a really streamlined process but when i got here i got lost went to the wrong hotel kind of got lost in paris i felt like i was in an episode of ratatouille it was very stressful you follow me on instagram i was like stressed and um, i've left my shoes for dinner for tonight as well so my outfit's an absolute holy show so basically it's all started not very well but that means it's going to be really well and you're probably thinking why am i here so basically mason and object is an interior event show unfortunately i'm not here for men's fa fashion week However, if I do see any gorgeous men, of course, I will let you know. Um, yeah, so I'm here for an interior event. Mason Object are 30 years old, which is absolutely crazy. By the way, I went to Pilates. No, I went to Pilates before I went yesterday. And I'm in agony. Like, I can't even hold the camera up. Like, that's really not good because I need to do that today. Um, yeah, I felt like I needed to tell you something else about yesterday's journey. It was funny anyway, but it was a little bit crazy. Um, I'm not coming home till Friday, so I've got, well, it's just tomorrow, so I've got two full days here. Anyway, I'm not here for men's fa fashion week, fashion show, whatever. Um, I'm here for interiors, obviously, it's me. Um, so yeah, Mason and Object, 30 years old, and it's a big show, and I'm so excited. Baccarat have actually um, done a... Um, there's, oh, there's all sorts going on it's going to be such an exciting vlog and i'm so excited so i'm doing that all today and then tomorrow i'm actually sightseeing in paris um which is amazing because i've never been to paris i came when i was little but i went to disneyland paris so i've actually never been to paris paris and um, so we're just i think like 15 minutes from the center so i can't really see the eiffel tower from here not that i'm too bothered but this hotel is actually gorgeous it's called oku hotels i think there's there's one in ibiza which is absolutely gorgeous and it's so nice the sapphire was so lovely last night i got here and i was like stressed i was soaked to through to the skin i told not wash my hair but thank god for the dyson honestly so yeah i just need to get ready i don't even know what time it is started at half nine but i think i'm gonna have to get an uber there because it takes like an hour on the metro there which i didn't realize like when i searched it from home it said 20 minutes but i think that was in a taxi because 20 minute taxi was like 30 euro which is a little bit expensive but you know it is a work trip but now i'm really 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 excited i've never been to mason and object and i've always wanted to come so this is a really amazing opportunity for me to be here um so i'm really excited to bring you with me also i'm going to be doing tiktok and instagram and all that i know i will have done them before you see this vlog if that makes sense but make sure you follow me there because it's like live updates as well this is like a few days late but it's a full vlog if that makes sense anyway i'm going to shut up now because you're probably thinking this is a wild intro and it is but let's get ready i'll show you my outfit before i leave and go to paris so this this is the fit. Seems all quite nice. This she all Zara. It's just a Zara white shirt, this black zip top, um, these pants. You've got like a white um band on, and then my coach bag, my trainers, which I've dried and made up after last night. And then I'm obviously going to wear my fit as well. Um, I'm not a fan of my makeup, but it is what it. Is. But yeah, I'm gonna book an Uber now. I'm hoping it only takes like 20 minutes, but that is the fit. Oh my god, you can't even see me. <laughs> oh no, that was the most traumatising taxi drive ever. He didn't speak a word of French. He couldn't find me. When he rang me, he didn't know where I was because he couldn't speak French. Honestly, I'm here now anyway. I'm just walking in. It took like 40 minutes to get here. It's snowing. I mean, I'm not complaining. It sounds like I am. But I don't know whether he let me film with my camera, so it might be on my phone. So yeah, but I'm excited to go in anyway.
being allowed back in. I'll explain later. Oh my god, it is huge. Oh my god, how unreal is that? I think this is all like garden stuff, but look how unreal that lamp is. And that artwork <laughs> and that garden chair is just crazy. Them plant pots are gorgeous. I'm honestly scared to go in it anyway. I know that's terrible, like no one knows who I am, but I don't know, it just feels a bit luxe, doesn't it? I don't know who allows you to film and not as well. Oh my god, I love that sofa and that lamp over there and that. There's so many gorgeous bits. I can't. This is a bit of me, Duran Interiors. Love that. Might go in here. Oh my god, I am obsessed with this. This is what I want for my studio. I absolutely love it. I even love those lamps. They're like paper mash. Oh, no, you this is gorgeous. Oh. No, that sofa's beautiful. I love them chess pieces on a plinth. I never thought of something like that. Love that candelabra as well. And that's gorgeous as well. It's like a console, but half slatted. Love that. They're stunning. Look how massive they are. Oh, them chairs are beautiful. So there's a matching couch, and they are beautiful as well. I actually love these. They're like art, like inside the um, cloches, which are gorge. If anyone listened to my podcast when I said we're going to be seeing loads of like nicely designed sofas, this is what I mean. And there's also a matching bench. No, sorry, how unreal is that? I just love the styling, and that light is gorgeous as well. Oh my god, them tables are beautiful. Look at the texture. What a clever idea, a rug as artwork. Beautiful. Oh my god. Okay, you know in the podcast I said I wasn't a fan of corduroy. I might change your mind about this. Oh, I love them mirrors and these lamps as well. I love the marble. And these are like tufted artwork. We're going to be seeing that a lot this year and I love it. Like the touchy feel. Ah. How cool are they? I love them but I also love this. How stunning is that? The craftsmanship is beautiful and I love the artwork as well. This shop is gorgeous. It's called Fancy. Oh, they've got Baobab. Wow, isn't that beautiful? Honestly, they get better every time. Expensive, but gorgeous. Oh my God, so they've got all the candles on show here. And honestly, it's absolutely chocolate. I'll try and turn the camera around to how busy it is. It's so busy. Oh my god, they're gorgeous. If you didn't think that every coloured candle in the world existed until today. Oh my god. Every single colour you could think of, that is insane in every shape. That is mad. Oh wow, is that amazing? Oh stop. That is incredible. I also love them, him, my jades as well. Oh my god, are they not the coolest things you've ever seen? Candle holders. Wow. No use to say I'm in my arm that will be an absolute understatement. I think TK Maxx buyers definitely come here. You know, when you just know all the brands that are here, all the products are so recognisable. I mean, I'm not mad about it, it's gorgeous. Oh my God, our spinning Christmas tree is going to be the next trend. I mean, if they are, I'm not mad about it, but I love the whole floating concept. Is that not absolutely incredible? And there's pom-poms falling from that one. <gasps> Unreal. Sorry, that's a huge wreath with a flipping deer in. Wow, Christmas really be Christmasing. <gasps> look at that. Oh my god, look at them displays. I would love to be in charge of that. Wow. So lush, we're going in. I absolutely love them as well. They are gorgeous. Wow, that's so. Oh my god, they're just so expensive. Look at it's gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. When you know something's just gonna be a bit of me, it is this. It's called lifestyle, and oh my god, them flipping standing lamps. But oh my god, how beautiful is that? Gorgeous. God, these have the most beautiful garden furniture I've ever seen. I feel like that's gonna be a big thing, like leveling up your garden, like a beach club in your own garden. Like, I'm sorry, excuse me, mister. Um, how beautiful are they? Even the flipping um, side tables, coffee tables, an outdoor coffee table. That looks like material, but it's waterproof. Absolutely stunning. On the other side is this, which is called PMP Furniture. We're seeing corduroy yet again. Look at them marble coffee tables. Now look at that bar at the back. Like, how stunning is that bar? I love a chess set on show, you know, especially if it's like vibey like this. But I also love this artwork. How beautiful is that? I love them as well. They're so nice. Wow, this brand is like the White Company. 
<gasps> I love them. I love all like the Easter neutral bits. What does that say? Follow the bunny for the treats. <gasps> that is gorgeous. I love them as well. How nice are they? No, that is so white company. Oh my god, TK Maxx defo shop here because that was in TK Maxx. Oh my god, that is absolutely hideous. It's a no from me. That'll defo be trending at some point though. No use, I can't stop laughing. It's like being in TK Maxx. We literally seen them the other week. I swear we will see them avocado flipping vases next week. That is actually crazy. It's like being in TK Maxx. Oh my god, I love them. They're like mushroom vases, aren't they gorgeous? chair for my studio I need it immediately that is absolutely gorgeous this whole room is to be fair that's given very like Timothy Alton oh, the fabric's beautiful I just love it I love that artwork we'll probably see that in home sense we'll see all of this in home sense I hope to god we see that table I kind of want to swap mine to be honest but honestly the interiors in here that chair is beautiful the lamps it's just so high class like look at them dining chairs Oh, this is just my dream. I can't wait to have my own house, you know. It's literally going to be kitted out like this. No one's going to be allowed to touch anything. That is gorgeous as well. <laughs> no, they go. Okay, everything's gorgeous. I love that. The detail inside that console is beautiful. Oh, my God. I've just turned the corner here. No, I need both immediately. How much are they? A hundred. Oh my god, sorry, that's 142 euros. That's like 130, 140 pounds. The other is not that good anymore. 140 pounds. I will buy that. I don't know how much he is. Um, 325. He's worth every penny, and I love this as well. These are beautiful. Very in this year, obsessed. Gorgeous, aren't they? I feel like they've got like a bit of like a mushroomness about them. Inspired, you know. Now these are the big dogs in the interior world. Supply a lot of people. Wow, that sofa is beautiful. How gorgeous. That is just so gorgeous. I absolutely love that. I love that sofa as well. And these tables are gorgeous, but that setup is fab. But look on the other side, yours is this. I'm sorry, is that not a bit of me? Look at that table already. I need to go in. Hospitality. I'll be in there next year. Ma manifesting it. I mean, I always said I'd end up on the red carpet. Little did I know it will be here. The wind's a win. I don't know whether I mentioned, but there's a vegan cafe up there. I want something to eat. I'm starving, so I'm going to see if they've got any in there. So this is Wild in the Moon. I actually Googled this before it came. Apparently it's a vegan. Apparently it's a vegan cafe. There's definitely one in central Paris, but I want to see what it's got. It's definitely got protein smoothie, which I could do with. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. The cakes look nice. They stopped serving food, so I just could only get a smoothie, which is a bit annoying, but it's better than not. She's making it there. It's quite cute in here, but there's no seats. It's literally chocolate. Okay, so obviously I can't speak French. Um, probably ignorance to the fact that I can't. But this tastes absolutely disgusting. I don't know what was in it because I can't read French either. But I'm starving, so it is what it is. There was no seat, but there's a seat over there. Awesome. So the girl was like, we're stopping to have food. Obviously in French, I had to just like translate myself. And um, that's all I've had for my lunch. I'm starving, but I'm booked in to, um, I think it's called Siena later, uh, which looks amazing. It's a bit rowdy. Um, but as I said on Instagram last night, I've literally left my shoes at home. So I have to wear this outfit as trainers. I don't know whether that's like acceptable in a place like that. Imagine they don't let me in. Oh cool. I'm going to be literally living on this protein shake all day. It's not fair. I've literally just panic bought Stephen Bartlett's new tour. The business and life speaking tour. I've just bought tickets. Honestly, I panicked. I was like, oh my god. So that is going to be absolutely amazing. I can't wait for that. I absolutely am obsessed with Stephen Bartlett. He literally could talk about anything and I'd sit and listen. Oh my god, that vase has a skit. 
a fuzzy skirt, how gorgeous is that? And that's like a dress. I think the interior behind all these vases is fashion. I'm totally here for it. These chairs remind me of uni, PTSD. So I was thinking I've definitely seen things online that I'm yet to see. There's another haul, look at this. So this is where they've got Roberto sitting here loud and proud. It's a bit of a basic stand I feel like for Roberto. I'm also on the lookout for this. <gasps> is that it? Oh my god, I think this is the Baccarat pop-up. I think. So this is the outside. That's the queue. It's all along that wall. I'm absolutely not waiting for it because it's literally just to see all the glassware. I'm sure it's gorgeous but no thanks. It's giving Gaviscon pop-up. That's because I'm not it. I honestly suffer so bad with indigestion. It's been called Fragman. I can't confirm I'm not. <laughs> so, I don't know whether I've got indigestion and cold in my back. It's kind of a multi duo thing. I get terrible indigestion. I get it like across my chest, round there, behind my back, honestly. And I had to glass somebody. I was like popping them like there was no tomorrow. Anyway, uh, they sort of fishy. You wanted that sometimes. I was going, okay, back to the hotel. I've wrapped up. No use, it's so cold out there. And basically, what happened is, got an Uber. Bear in mind I'm not an Uber girl, so I've downloaded the Uber app over here, so I'll be using it a lot more when I go home. And I thought it was great, obviously used it yesterday, knew it and this morning, I rang a taxi, not rang a taxi, booked a taxi, and then the fella rang me, obviously he couldn't speak English, and I was like, you're not where you said you're going to be. Anyway, he didn't turn up, furious, and then I booked it again, and the other fella turned up, but we were in a Tesla. It was amazing, it had like, flipping, you know, with the roof, like panoramic, it was absolutely gorgeous. Um, and he was lovely as well. So I'm glad that fella cancelled, but Uber charged me and I was like, oh, hold up. I'm not going to charge 30 euro for not even getting in the vehicle that didn't even show up. Sorry, don't mug me off. So safe to say you got zero stars. Um, and also, um, I don't know whether I caught you up, but basically I left my shoes for the meal tonight. So I've literally bought one pair of shoes for the whole entire trip. And I don't know, because it's like quite a fancy restaurant, whether they're going to let me in in these shoes. I will stop. So I've literally got no shoes. Like, no shoes, like a pair of trainers, like travel travel trainers. Travel shoes! <laughs> it's embarrassing. Um, by the way, I want to do a full, like, bedroom tour, like, hotel tour, and this here, you know. No, it's not the one. I'm going to read ice in it. Um, I want to do a hotel tour, but they haven't been to make bed today, so it's looking a bit shambolic, so I definitely will not be doing that. Um, I feel like I've just got taxis everywhere. I feel like I don't know it as well as London, so, like, I don't really know, like on the tube obviously I just jump on and off, I know where I'm going, but Paris is a little bit different, it's a little bit overwhelming compared to London, my hair, sorry, um, but yeah, anyway, before when I was waiting in the taxi, I was in the cold, so I feel like I've been hunched over, give myself wind and also give myself cold on my back, so I really suffer with stuff like that, <laughs> drama queen, I know, um, anyway, I'm going to go and get ready for tea, I'm not wearing this jumper, this was just to keep warm, um, I'm just going to do a bit of work, oh by the way, um, people, loads of people asking me about um, where I've just been and what it is and things like that. So I'll probably do a Q and A when I get back. But I'm just gonna get ready for my tea first. So I will answer them questions <laughs> after this. So I wanted to go to Siena for my tea. But when I got there, the menu that was online wasn't even in person. This is literally the best place I can balance you whilst I'm taking my makeup off. Um, sorry, I stopped filming there. Basically, I was walking and I wanted to catch a better view of um, the Eiffel Tower. And there was this fella and he was saucy. Like, he kept like stopping when I'd stop and then like hiding behind like the little thing so i walked back and then i booked an uber i was like right get me back to the hotel i just didn't like it at all do you know what use unpopular opinion so far i don't like paris at all like ignore that um fake tan i don't like it i really don't i much prefer london i'm not getting any romance i mean i know me for a way trip so it's not exactly anything spectacular in terms of like that element but like, i don't get it i'm yet to I feel like it's very overrated so far, don't get me wrong. I'm going like sightseeing and that tomorrow, which will be nice before I come home. So I might get a different impression. But I just feel very on edge. Like it just doesn't feel, it feels moody, do you know what I mean? I feel like when I'm in London, I always love London because I just feel 
you know, in Liverpool and things, just proper different vibes. And like, I feel like everyone's been a bit obnoxious so far, apart from the people in the hotel. So lovely, so, so lovely. Um, but yeah, just, just not a fan at all. Um, and I'm hoping that will change. I forgot to get makeup, makeup fan off. Give me a sec, go get a makeup fan off. Yeah. I just really haven't, <laughs> I haven't enjoyed it so far, years. I've enjoyed Mason Objects, obviously, but in terms of like the other bits surrounding it, which is like all part and parcel of the trip, it just hasn't been the one, you know, I really just don't think it has. And I just feel like I've always hyped Paris up a little bit and I'm just yet to see it, but my opinion might change tomorrow. So yeah, and I was gonna, basically, I was gonna record my podcast um, episode two um, put up but I just think it's going to be all too rushed for me because I need to do it before do you know I'm just going to rub that off now because that is actually a shout that was a shout, that was literally just time file um, yeah it's just going to be too rushed and I want to actually see some of Paris and make use of a work trip, you know what I mean so Anyway, that is that. Oh, by the way, on my last vlog, those people were saying, like, my skin has gone so nice. And it literally has, like, since last year. If you watch my old vlogs, my skin was a show. I've been seeing a lovely skin girl. But people were like, Ellie, what were you using? Because I just did my face, but didn't actually tell you, which is absolutely useless. So this is Paula's Choice Foam and Cleanser. Wow. Me and all the girls who go to that face girl use this. And honestly, I swear by it. So I've just took my makeup off with Elements Cleansing Balm. Then I use that. And then I'll go in with the Paula's Choice over that. Um, if I feel like my face is really grubby, which I feel like it is because it's like hustle and bustle city and moch, I'll do it twice. Um, and then I go in, I've swapped to Pixie because I actually got this for Christmas. I usually use Medicaid but I've run out so I've just used this and it hasn't altered my skin at all. I really, really like it and I approve of it. It's got vitamin C in as well. Um, but then I have the Niacinamide Serum from Inky List. Home and Bargain, now sell it for like... I think it's like two of them for six pounds. Super cheap, really good. Clinique Moisture Sage Moisturiser. Clinique really underrated. It's actually got really nice properties in it. And then I'll go in with my Factor 50 sun cream. I always wear sun cream when the sun's out or not. And this cannot live without. You can actually get like the normal like lip balms with that as well now. Anyway, I'm absolutely rambling. That's as absolutely no way to be rambling whatsoever. But yeah, it's been a bit of a up and down day to say the least um, and I will be sightseeing tomorrow so <laughs> take my lenses out, wash my face and I'll see you sightseeing, we'll, we'll see Paris tomorrow I do promise <laughs> oh my goodness I am so tired I look horrendous um, and this room is free of that air car. I don't know how to wear it <laughs> Hey Glory, fenced off, honestly used. Sorry to be a Debbie Downer, but honestly, I just feel like it's so overrated. It literally, I just don't know. I mean, do it wrong, it's gorgeous, but like, you can't even get through to it. You literally buy a main road. I just feel like, I feel a bit like I've been, like, TikTok head off, to be honest with you. It's just not what I expected. I'm gonna lie, I find this a lot more pre pretty. <laughs> Good music then. This is well prettier, apart from the pigeon. I suppose that's a better view. And it's gone gorgeous. It was literally snowing yesterday, it's mad. So I just went and got a Joe and the Juice, and honestly, I'm just not impressed with Paris. Like, I sound like a proper moaner. I just want to see the Eiffel Tower in that, but like, I just put on my story as well. Like, I just don't see the big hype of Paris, and everyone's literally agreed with me. I'm shocked. Like, I've been to Amsterdam, Barca, New York. London and put all them places above here that I wouldn't rush to get back. And I don't know whether like TikTok hyped it or YouTube or anything, but I've always seen it all wow gorgeous, but like no, do you know what I mean? So I don't know, it might just be me. Um but definitely let me know in the comments if you do like it. Um 
but yeah, I'm just um, I think I'm going to do the station now. The train's not for another two hours. My hair's been blown everywhere. It is much nicer today, I must admit. Um, but yeah, that's my real opinion. I feel like people need to be real, and I am real. Like, if it's good, I'll tell you it's good. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, I'm just a bit disappointed, I'm not going to lie. Um, and I feel like. Matchy, matchy. I feel like I want to put Chris in my bag somewhere lovely and I just feel like, I feel like she hasn't had her way. She really hasn't. Don't get me wrong, she's been overshared on social media. She's had too much air time. But like, I am obsessed with her. So.